okay, I will explain you this uh, face and rim alignment uh, method uh, by help of this board also. So you know actually what uh, happens and how the uh, solution work, how we get the correction done. So it will give you some idea. Okay. So as you know that there are two uh, problems. One is the offset misalignment and the other is uh, this uh, angular misalignment. Now in this case, you take the reading, you make the dial indicator zero on the top, as you have seen this machine here, that you make the zero on the top and then you come on the down side. The dial indicator is fixed on the red side or on the radial side and whatever the reading you get here, you will divide this by two. Okay, in this case, for example, this reading is minus 100 millimeter. Actually, you will not get 100 millimeter by means of dial indicator. But just for example, if this reading is minus 100 millimeter, you will divide by 2. But in case of dial indicator, you will get the dial indicator reading and you will multiply by 0 0.01 to make it millimeter. So this reading you will divide by 2. It will become minus 50, minus 50. And this is motor here, movable, and your this is pump here, this is front side, this is back side. Okay, this is movable. Okay, this one is it's movable. So minus 50, minus 50. This will be for the offset misalignment because minus reading means that the motor is up then you will make an angular correction so you will use this formula the angular reading is 70 millimeter L1 is written here, L2 is written here, coupling diameter so you will use these formulas, I have already told you from these formulas you will get the correction for angular misalignment then you will add the, them together uh, this is for the offset misalignment, R means for offset misalignment, this is the correction, minus 50, minus 50, and this is for angular correction. Then you will add them together and you will get this answer, okay? So now I am going to explain the, this on the board, actually how the solution works. What is meant by angular misalignment? Okay, you can see here that this one is your shaft. You can see here, this one, this one is your shaft. This one is, for example, motor shaft. This is motor shaft, okay? And it is, you know, this is the position, okay, like this. And this is the coupling. And you can see here that the gap on the top side is more. It is 252 millimeters. And on the top and on the bottom side, it is 182 millimeter. This is the gap here. This is the gap here, and this is the. Now on the bottom side, the gap is less. So when you make the dial indicator reading here zero, this is your dial indicator, and you make here zero. When you come to down side, you will get 252 minus 182. But that is equal to 70. 252 minus 182 is equal to 70 millimeter. So you will get plus reading downside, plus 70. So actually the reading which you are taking on the angular side, this is come. So this is the, you okay. make it uh, zero on the eight, top. Eight minutes. Okay. You make it zero on the top and then, then you come on the bottom side. So if you take the, if the reading is coming plus, it means that the gap on the downside is less by that amount. For example, if it is coming here like it is giving you plus 70 here, millimeter here, okay, upside there is zero and downside it is coming plus 70. So it means that this side, this side is shorter by 70 millimeter. So the difference between upper side and the bottom side is 70 millimeter and this one is smaller. This one is smaller by 70 millimeter plus in this case in the reading if the reading is minus on the bottom side 
then it means opposite. So now this is your angular reading. From here to here, the distance is 50 millimeter. The shaft is up. How much? This is the point. This is the point. This is the point which will tell you about offset misalignment. From here to here is 50 millimeter. But when you will take the dial indicator reading, it will give you minus 100 because the shaft is up. This is the required position. This is the required shaft position. You see here, this is the required shaft position. So when the shaft is, when this point is up, you will get minus reading. Here the offset misalignment is 50, but you will get minus 100. You will get double. This we have already told in the previous lecture. So you will divide this by 2. This is minus 50, minus 50. This is the uh, offset misalignment. Okay. Okay. You can see here that the, the offset no. is... Okay. You, this minus 50... The offset correction is minus 50 for the front side and minus 50 for the back side. This is the offset correction. The total reading on the rim side was minus 100. So you will divide that by 2 and it will become minus 50, minus 50. Why you are getting reading minus? Because the motor shaft is up. So this was for offset misalignment correction. But what I am want to explain to you now is that when, why you are using this formula? The formula means a into L1 divided by coupling diameter for the front side, A into L2 divided by coupling diameter for the back side. These two formulas are for angular correction. Why we are using these two formula? This is very important to understand. The advantage of this formula is that now you can see here the shaft is here. This is the position. And we need to move the we need to move the shaft upside for angular correction. Now you can see here that there is no angular misalignment. There is no angular misalignment. There is only offset misalignment. But the offset misalignment has not changed. The offset misalignment has not changed. See here, this is the position when there was angular misalignment. And then I make angular alignment. I will calculate the shims. I will calculate for front side 76.5 millimeter I have to write. And for back side, I have to write 177 millimeter. This is 177 millimeter, which means that I have to add this one from here to here is about uh, this is uh, 76.5 millimeter from here. To here is 76.5 millimeter, and from here to here is 177 millimeter. So I have to, I will add this shim here, and I will add this shim from here to here, and the angular correction will be done. But what is the benefit? This your offset misalignment, which was 50 millimeter before, is same. It has not changed. This point has not changed. So now you can, what you can do with this is that you can, so this is your angular correction, after the angular correction your shaft is here. So you can move your shaft from here to, this was your position after making angular correction. So you can come from here to their downside. How much you will come? 50 millimeter down at the front side and at the back side. This blue color is uh, is showing the amount of 50 millimeter. 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter here. So this will be your position after you have you have moved downside. So but there is no need to make in two steps. You can simply add this much in here and from here to here and this much shim from here to here to make the alignment both for offset and both for angular and the resultant is 26.5 
and here it is 127, 127 degrees. So from here, so you can add same from here to here, which is 26.5 millimeter. From here to here is 26.5 millimeter, and from here to here is 127 millimeter. So the net result will be that you will be adding this shim here, 26.5 millimeter here, and 127 millimeter shim here. So this is the advantage of using the formula for angular misalignment. That your offset calculation remains same. You don't. Your offset position is not changed. It will remain same. So remember always that when you use this formula, the offset position is not changed. Okay. So So I will fix it back this one now again. This was this was very important to understand. Okay. So again I will repeat it. This is your motor shaft and it is it has got both angular misalignment and both offset misalignment. Offset misalignment is how much? This is 50 millimeter from here to here. But when you will take the reading from the indicator, it will tell you minus 100, double. So we will divide this by 2 and it will become minus 50, minus 50. After this, we will calculate from the, we will calculate for the angular misalignment, the correction required. We will use these formulas, A into L1. This is your coupling diameter. From here to here is your coupling diameter. And this one is 160 millimeter from here to here. L1 is from here to here. From here to here is L1, which is 175 millimeter. And L2 is 405 from here to here. This is your L2 from here to here. So I can write right here if you want from here. To here is L1. This one is 175 millimeter. And from here to here is L2. And this is equal to and L2 is equal to 405 millimeter. And from here. To here, this one is your coupling diameter. This one is your coupling diameter, and this is equal to 160 millimeter. So, your angular reading is 70 millimeter. 70 millimeter means the difference of gap from between top and bottom. When you take the reading with the dial indicator, it is actually telling you the difference of gap between the top side and the bottom side. If you get, now in this case the reading was plus, the reading was plus, so it means this side is smaller by 70 millimeter. Now you can see here, this is from here to here it is 252 and from here to here it is 182. So 252 minus 182 is 72 millimeter. So, this is how you can do this uh, procedure. You can add them together, offset misalignment readings, uh, correction for offset misalignment, and this is correction for angular misalignment. You will add them together. Yes, what up there? And so this is how you can uh, make uh, alignment for the uh, offset misalignment and for the angular misalignment by phase-centering method. You divide the <coughs> uh, 
आप पहले इसके बारे में बता रहे थे ना ये जो ऊपर वाला है टॉप काट देंगे वो स्टॉप क्या करना है ओके नाउ आई विल टेल यू आई विल रिव्यू इट सो दिस इज वाज योर द रिजल्ट दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ योर कैलकुलेशंस फॉर ऑफसेट मिसअलाइनमेंट एंड फॉर एंगुलर मिसअलाइनमेंट फॉर ऑफसेट मिसअलाइनमेंट यू आर गेटिंग माइनस 50 माइनस 50 फॉर द फ्रंट साइड एंड बैक साइड एंड फॉर द एंगुलर मिसअलाइनमेंट द करेक्शन इज 76.5 मिलीमीटर फॉर द फ्रंट साइड and 177 mm for the back side and you will add you will add them together this is the resultant so resultant is 26.5 mm for the front side you will add this one and 127 mm for the back side so the advantage of this uh, procedure is that when you use this angular formula which is a into l1 divided by coupling diameter and a into l2 divided by coupling diameter for front side and back side the offset misalignment is not changed the offset reading is not changed it remains same whatever it was before it will remain same so you can add them together offset uh, correction and angular uh, misalignment correction you can add them together and then you can add this resultant whatever is the is the result add or Uh, remove now here they are both plus so you, this is your resultant and you can add the same 26.5 mm on the front side and 127 mm on the back side so you will there is no need that you should go from you should go from here to here or you go from here to here this was for your angular correction दोबारा से बताएं इधर से उधर उधर से उधर शुरू से ये ये इधर हाँ सारा okay. अभी जो बता रहे थे वही क्या है ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर दैट दिस वाज योर शॉफ्ट सो व्हेन यू विल इफ यू मेक ओनली एंगुलर कलेक्शन यू विल कम हियर यू विल कम हियर दिस शॉफ्ट इज कमिंग हियर नाउ देर इज नो एंगुलर मिसलाइनमेंट बट देर इज अफसेट मिसलाइनमेंट विच इज 50 mm and before or also it was same you can see here this was the point from here to here is the 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 gap is 50 mm the motor was 50 mm upside now when to make angular alignment still this distance is not changed it is 50 mm so when we will uh, add them together and you will get the resultant and then there is no need that you go from Here to here, and then you come back, and then you come back to this position. There is no need. You can add them together. Okay, you can add them together. Okay, and okay. So this was your position. So you can add them together. The resultant, which is this one. This is the resultant. From here to here is the resultant, which is. 26.5 from here to here is 26.5 and from here to here is 127 mm so you will what you will do is that you will come to this position okay directly and this one is from here to here is 26.5 mm and from here to here is 127 mm so this is how this procedure work so you have to add only this one here 26.5 mm here and from here from here to here which is 127 mm okay so that was all about this procedure thank you very much